all right hello everyone welcome once again to the channel please i want you to subscribe to my channel so you can click on the subscription button and subscribe right away so today we are going to uh, be learning how to make the welt pockets welt pocket for trouser so this is what we have uh, this is what I've used. This is color gum, color gum, hard one. So you now apply it on the fabric, as seen here. After applying that, you are going to measure your the size of your pockets. As you can see, this one is four and a half inches. From this place to this place is four and a half inches. So you mark that with this line mark here with the line too now at the center what is the center of four and a half is two quarter two and one quarter now you mark this place that's the center of four and a half you can easily get that by folding your tip this way and then you see that that's the center then you mark it so after that we're going to measure half an inch up and down up and down half an inch up and down this is how i do mine i place my tape one at the middle half this way this is one and half here and this is another half here mark it come to the middle half up half down mark it Come to this other side half up half down mark it now you're going to take your rule and connect the lines like this connect the lines like this and like this so this is the center point, center point of your pocket. You're also going to draw a line here because this line is what we are going to use to align it on the back piece of the trouser. On the back piece of the trouser. All right. So this is the back piece of the trouser. We have already done our darts. Our darts, you make this dart here. This is what will give your trouser a good shape. You can see that dart, the dart is about three and a half inches. The dart, this dart, is about three and a half inches. So the inside of the pockets, you already over applied paper gum here. This is paper gum. You apply it so that you make, so that you make, uh, the the fabric a little bit thicker so that you you'll be able to get the perfect pocket so now we've applied this is the pocketing i have applied it on top already so when we take this one to the machine this is what it's going to look like what's what it's going to look like we're going to place this like this you can see that this line this middle line is aligning with our darts you can see that the middle line is aligning with the darts so that's the reason why we, we drew all these lines so now we'll just take it to the machine and we'll sew it and then we'll see the result of the pockets all right so at the machine now you can see that we aligned this line with that i'm just going to go on and use the machine to hold it together so you turn this thing this way turn it this way don't forget this the pocketing is already placed underneath the fabric now this is the back piece of the trouser now this is 
the gum we are using for the the pockets. So you do this. You make sure you are getting it at that point where the two lines intersect. So you stitch that place. That's the first one. Going to the second line now. You see, we took the first line up and then the middle line is all we're using to sew the pockets. can see this we've held this together now so the next step we're going to divide this thing into two equal halves like this this is what I'm cutting make sure you leave your trouser piece out of this or you're going to do double work so you just let's trim this place off trim this off like this and this one too So I'm going to divide this like this. So we've cut this. Now you fold this trouser like this. And then just make a notch at the middle. Just a little bit. You can see that. So from here now, I'm going to cut to this place, cut to this place, and also to this place. So, here we go. Hope you can see this. At this point, you have to be very careful. Just if you overcut this thing, you are going to spoil the pockets. Just notch it like that. Also, open this up and notch the other side too. At that point, where your sewing stops is where your notch should end. So, we've done that. So, I'm going to do this for the other end too. this up and then notch up to the point of your sewing carefully and this other end to do the same thing So now that I've notched that, you are going to push this inside inwards like this, like this. Can you see that? You push that inwards. Now, this is when we use this other line, this second line. We're going to fold this at that line. 
so fold it at that line then we'll turn it inside like this Hope you can see that this is coming out very nicely so you just make sure this aligns very well so that you then use your machine to hold it down Can use your scissors push this part in so So this is that. Now I'm going to open this place up like this. Now I'm going to stop double stitch here. Stitch here to hold it down. You can see that I'm going to iron this place to make it smooth. I'll apply the same thing for this other side as well. Open this up and top stitch it. To hold it down. So I hope you can see this. Next, we are going to do this. This is the pockets. You open this outside piece this way. I'm going to stitch this part to the body of to the pocket in. So this is how I'll do it.
all of this we are going to iron it and everywhere will be smooth so before we do the final ironing this is my pocketing now you're going to fold this this way it was straight initially you fold it this way it has to overlap it has to overlap the waist of the trouser it has to overlap so that you'll be able to sew this place as well and then you trim the excess out So for me that point where it overlaps after overlapping that i like to notch here because i'm going to be using that later i'll notch it this way so watch carefully after notching this place i'm turning this pocket in inside out like this Now this is the point where I use my notch. You see that? After I do this, you discover that the sewing of this pocket will be inside. You will not see any stitches outside. So that's why I turned it like this. So here we go. I shift that line inside. Okay. This way, do the same thing. So we trim. We trim this thing out. So now we're going to turn this, we'll turn this back out. This is what I'll turn this, turn this from here. Like this. I use my scissors to point out those edges from inside like that so you can see that the sewing I did was inside now I'll just top stitch this thing from here and here please if you're watching this and it's you know that you derive value from this video don't leave this channel until you subscribe please subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and then you turn on your notification bells so that you'll be the first notified when i drop more exciting and educating videos please subscribe so i'm doing this now same for this other side
So this is what we have. You can see this in the pocket. So I'm now going to stitch this place. We'll stitch it here to hold this together. First of all, we'll stitch this inside of the pockets first. After ironing, this is what we have. You can see how the pocket is looking nice. After ironing it. So this is how to make a welt pocket. I hope you found this educative. Please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thank you. So watch out for our next video coming soonest.